First thing I notice about this question is it's got some semicolons. And we know when we use those, we are joining two complete sentences. So I do recognize that this is more than just about semicolons. This is the connector placement rule. I have a great lesson on this. It's, it is, in my opinion, the hardest rule that we will see on the SAT for grammar. And I think we're about to see why. But the first thing I would do has nothing to do with the word though. It's, it's purely, do I have sentences here? Um, if I have a sentence before the semicolon, a sentence after, then I need a semicolon. And the word though, no matter where it's placed, is going to be an extra piece. So I don't really care about it. So let's just read. We're going to start uh, here. To manifest the warm and welcoming atmospheres that are a signature of her work. That is not a sentence. Uh, if it says something like, she manifests the warm and welcoming atmospheres that are a signature of her work. Or if they said, what does the manifesting? There, there's no real verb here. You know, when we have verbs with a two, it's not really the verb of the sentence. It's not strong enough. And so we don't have the, this main verb. Um, we have the word are, but that's following the word that, which is kind of a, an extra clause creator. It doesn't get any commas, but it's it's an extra clause. And so for that reason, you know, this, this piece, I hope you can hear it. It's not a sentence. Now the part after is, right? She occasionally relies on more traditional art techniques. That's a sentence such as painting with watercolors. That's an extra clause. So we do have a sentence after, right? So if I'm kind of trying to take care of that semicolon, I don't have a sentence before. I do have a sentence after. But what that means is we can't use a semicolon here. That's There's no reason. There's The only reason we would use a semicolon here is to join two complete sentences. If we don't have one of them, then that's not a good use of a semicolon. So that's gone. And now we have a weird situation. Uh, you know, this is just not usually how these connector placement questions go. But they can go this way. Can, the words like though are not the same as words like but, right? They mean the same thing, but but is very specific. It is a conjunction that goes exactly where the two sentences meet. Though can float. It can be at the beginning of a sentence. It can be at the end of a sentence. It can be in the middle of a sentence. And so there's reasons it can kind of have two commas around it. But also sometimes it's behaving like a completely different word. It's not so much a but it's, it's more like a preposition-y word, and so it, it can kind of start a clause rather than being the, um, the start of the sentence and the connector of two sentences. So it's really confusing. It's just a very flexible word, and we've got to be prepared for all the different ways it can be used. So what I would be doing here is kind of just reading it with, with the though and, and trying to see how does it fit in all this. To manifest the warm and welcoming atmospheres that are a signature of her work, though, she occasionally relies on more traditional art techniques, such as painting and watercolors. For me, it's kind of obvious now. I, it's got to be A. The word, though, is an interruption. It's it's just, um, uh, did I spell interrupt right? Interruption. Yeah, I forget. There you go. Uh, so point is, it's getting, it's getting thrown in the middle of this sentence when it really belongs right here, uh, right here between the two sentences. So remember, though basically means but. So this is what we're really trying to say. Digital artist Jung Chen primarily uses a suite of software tools to create illustrations for children's books. But to manifest the warm and welcoming atmospheres that are a signature of her work, she occasionally relies on more traditional art techniques, such as painting with watercolors. If we wanted to rearrange things further, we would really be saying, uh, digital artist Jung Chen primarily uses a suite of software tools to create illustrations for children's books, but she occasionally relies on more traditional art techniques, such as painting with watercolors, to manifest the warm and welcoming atmospheres that are a signature of her work. That's probably how I'd say that, if I were trying to write that sentence. Because it's just more natural. We, we want a word like though, that contrasts two ideas, to be where the contrasts happen. So she primarily uses software, but in these cases, she uses traditional art techniques like painting with watercolors. So there is a contrast here. The, the word though, though, has the ability to float within a sentence. And I just did it in that explanation. And so it, you can move it around. And, and if we move it in the middle, it's still this kind of like extra thing. And that's why we need two commas. We're trying to say it's, it's being plopped right in the middle of a thought. And the two commas on either side are the way of showing that. So uh, there really isn't a, a, a case that I've seen on the SAT where we would do B, but um, watch my video on connector placement. I, I believe I talk about it in the context of the word however, but it's a tricky rule. Honestly, you don't want to get any questions wrong that are grammar, but 
if you do get one wrong and it's this, I kind of understand. It's it's very hard, especially for non-native English speakers to understand this because it's just it's it's so twisted in lots of ways. <laughs>